converting percentages into fractions and decimals. We can convert percentages into fractions and eventually into decimals by using the inverse procedure of that described earlier. Thus, the percentages are first converted into decimal fractions with a denominator of 100, then as decimals if necessary. Example A political party A won 32.73% of popular votes in a country with several millions of electors. The main opposition party, B, won 29.39% of popular votes and the rest of votes were divided among other political parties. If, in a small town with 10,000 electors, the votes are divided among the subjects participating in the elections exactly as in the popular vote, calculate the following. A. How many electors voted for the political party A, in the small town? B. How many electors voted for the opposition party B, in the small town? C. How many electors did not chose the two main parties in the small town? Solution A. Let's express the given percentages as decimal fractions. We have the following shown on screen. As the town has exactly 10,000 electors, the number of people who voted the political party A is 3,273. B. Using the same procedure as in A, we have the following shown on screen. As the town has exactly 10,000 electors, the number of people who voted for the opposition party B is 2,939. C. The number of electors who didn't vote the two main parties is calculated in two ways. One by subtracting the number of electors who voted for parties A and B from the total, i.e. we have the following shown on screen. We can also find this number by calculating the percentage of electors who didn't vote for parties A and B. Thus, we have the following shown on screen. When this percentage is converted into fraction, we obtain the following shown on screen. which means that there were 3,788 people in the town who neither voted for party A, nor B. As you see, the result is the same in both methods used. That is all for lesson 5.2.4, to continue this tutorial please watch, 5.2.5, comparing percentages, fractions and decimals. Thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with new videos. For more information, calculators, and tutorials, please visit www.icalculator.info.